this message is entitled the three witnesses one witness shall not rise up against a man for iniquity or for any sin in any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established Deuteronomy 19:15 Satan asks the Lord, "Yes, I accept the witness of your beloved son Jesus Christ. He is your first witness, but according to your law of judgment, you require two or three witnesses to prove that I am wrong and that you are right. Where is your second and third witness?" The Lord answers to Satan, My second witness is found throughout the entire history of man beginning from the righteous Abel until my adventist children in 1844 they are my second witness against you Satan responds by saying among the people that belong to your second witness some of them have stood firmly until the end like Abel Enoch Job and Paul and a few others however most of them have fallen even after accepting you as their personal savior even the meekest man Moses fell in the end and the man who was nearest to your heart David fell many times since they repented in the end i am forced to accept them as your second witness however do you have another witness just like the witness of Christ who are spotless and immovable the lord replies to satan by saying yes i have my third witness and they are the 144000 after they are redeemed from their sins they will stand firm until the end even if the entire heaven falls on them even if the entire earth breaks apart they will stand without the slightest sin yes no guile will ever be found in them satan mockingly replies to the lord where is your 144000 dear friends the lord and his entire hosts are waiting for this day when the 144000 would be made up but are we waiting on the lord earnestly and praying and asking him that we could be among the 144000 to do the greatest work that has ever been done in the entire 6000 years or are we lost fishing the riches of this perishing world the first glory of god is christ and the second glory of god would be the 144000 who are going to be the third and final witness of god against sin and satan it would be the eternal testimony of the 144000 that would bind satan and take him to the wilderness it is their spotless witness that is even able to shut the mouth of satan who has been accusing god for the last 6000 years yes my friends it would be the vindication of the 144000 that would bring an end to the great controversy obadiah 21 says and saviors shall come up on mount zion many are called pastors and many are called prophets but only the 144000 are called the saviors when you and i have the greatest opportunity that any human could ever have how could we waste our precious time in vain things how could we not find time to pray and wait on the lord as christ waited in the lonely mountains of this world among the entire redeemed it would be the 144000 that would understand the preciousness of the blood of christ the highest hence they would be those that would stand with the lamb on mount zion 
and they would be the ones that would rule this universe with Christ. We are at the very threshold of the third witness of Christ sounding the loudest cry of God ever. The question is, will we be among the greatest glory that is about to dawn?